Hi everybody and welcome back to Book Clubs with Darth Jesse. Today we are going to be working on the Titan's Curse book. Uh, for some of you guys that have been reading along with me here at Club, we're going to pick off right where you left off. Um, this is a graphic novel version of the Percy Jackson series. So feel free, I will show you guys the pages as we go along. Feel free to follow along in your books, boys and Denise, if you've got them. And let's begin. All right, so The Titan's Curse is book three of the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series by Rick Rodan. We are about halfway through this book, so I'm sorry for those that are just coming in uh, right now, but hopefully we'll finish this book soon and start book four. All right, we just finished the last chapter, and we're going to be starting this one. I'm pretty sure this is where Artemis's trail leads. There's a power for monster scent. She must have stopped here looking for the mystery doomsday monster, Grover says. Hey! You, how dare you show thy face here? Your presence is forbidden. What is, it, what is with you, Zoe? Boys don't really have cooties, you know. Percy, thank goodness. Listen, Luke is here. Dr. Thorne and the general, too. The general is here? That is impossible. You must have seen an iris message or some other illusion. Iris messages don't grow skeleton warriors from dragon teeth. What? How many? Six, I think. And that's not all. He said he was sending a playmate to distract you over here. Um, guys, I think I know what he meant. Roar! The Nemean lion. Separate. We must attack it from all sides. Zap! Roar! Try to flank it. Hiya! So they're attacking them with bows and arrows and their hero weapons. Swat. Ah! Go away. Roar! Clank. Hey! Percy, get out of here! Roar! Eat this! Crack. The mouth! There's no armor in its mouth. <laughs> Funk. Womp. That was an um, interesting strategy. Hey, it worked. Take the beast's pelt. It is rightly fine. Not my usual fashion. More trouble coming. Doesn't look like we can get back to the van without them seeing. We need to find another way out. You guys go ahead. It's me they're hunting. No, we go together. I do not like it, but you are part of this quest now. You are the fifth member. And we are not leaving anyone behind. They get into their car and they're driving out west. And they're sleeping in the car. Grover likes to snore. You should be sleeping like the others. Can't dream if you don't sleep. Dreams like a podcast. Downloading truth to my ears. They tell me cool stuff. Apollo? Shh, I'm incognito. Zeus insists on certain rules, hands off when there's a human quest, but nobody messes with my baby sis. Nobody. So you're going to help us then? Where's Artemis and Annabeth? I know a lot, and I see a lot, but I don't know that. They're clouded for me, and I don't like it. What about the monsters? Do you know what it is? No, but there is one who might. Go to the waterfront in San Francisco and find Nereus, the old man of the sea. He knows things that are hidden from my oracle. But it's your oracle. Don't you know what the prophecy means? <laughs> Might as well ask an artist to explain his art. It defeats the purpose. The meaning is only clear through the search. Ah, look, at the time, gotta run. 
Take care, kid. I doubt you'll all be able to risk helping you again. So remember, Apollo and Artemis are brother and sister, and we met Apollo at the beginning of the book. And Apollo is gone. Grover, what's going on? Ooh, were you just talking to yourself? Wait, are those mountains, as in the Rocky Mountains? How long was I asleep? Just a couple of hours. I guess you could say we took Apollo's high-speed light rail. It's a good thing this quest has us heading in the same direction as the sun. Because remember, Apollo is the god of sun. So, how do you like being a hunter? It's definitely cool. I feel calmer. Everything seems to have slowed down. I guess that's the immortality. Nico doesn't understand my decision, though. You know, if I hadn't met you, I never would have felt okay leaving him. I figured if there were people like you at camp, he'd be fine. That's the story. What's the story? With you two, anyway. Do you never lived with your parents? I mean, your mortal parents? All we know is our parents are dead. Well, one of them is, at least. We don't even know who they are. There was a trust fund for us. A lawyer would come by once in a while and check on us at boarding school. Then one day, he came and took us away. We traveled a long way, stayed in a hotel for a while. Then the lawyer came and got us again, drove us to Maine, and we started going to Westover. That was just a couple weeks ago. It wasn't long after that you came to get us. And it's always been just the two of you, besides the lawyer, I mean. Yeah, I love Nico, and but that's why I wanted to join the Hunters. I wanted my own life and friends to find out what it'd be like to not be big sister 24-7. Has Thalia arranged our travel? She's not back yet. Well, don't get your hopes up. The clerk says there's no way out of this town unless you have a car. Grum, num, 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 num. Uh, that's wild. The bird flew off the cup. Grover, talk to me, pal. Hey, I just, what's wrong with Grover? I don't know, he just kind of keeled over. Um, um. You better get him up. We've got company. Who do you think's coming, guys? Chitter, chitter, chatter, chatter. It's near. The gift is near. Surrounded. We'll have to go at them one at a time. Maybe they'll ignore Grover that way. Hiya! It's the skeletons. Swish. My arrows have no effect. Doesn't look like my score sword does either. Chatter, chatter. They're just reassembling themselves. Go away! From how'd you do that? I I don't know. Figure it out so you can do it again. The gift from the wild. How do you guys think she did it? Sniff, sniff. Run! Now it's a big hog chasing after them? Man. They approach the bridge. No, I don't jump. Oof. Crack. Right. Tis our ride west. We must use it. A blessing from the wild. So cool. Right. Oh, you've snapped out of it now? Maybe you can tell me why you keep calling this thing a blessing. This is an Agramathian 4. Do you have any idea how fast it can travel? We better climb aboard. Once it gets unstuck, there'll be no stopping it. Do you have a clue what he's talking about? Did you not feel it in the wind? Just before the boar arrived, I felt the presence of Pan, Lord of the Wild. Wild. Clearly, he sent this beast to aid us. This ought to help me drive. Sniff, sniff. Woo! How would you guys like to ride on a giant boar? 
think you can move that fast, like what Grover says. Somewhere in Arizona. This is as far as the boar will take us. We should get off while it's drinking. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Thanks for the lift, Porky. Where are we? Wherever we are, I highly doubt we'll be able to find a rent-a-car. Guys, what are those? We are on the edge of one of the... Hephaestus junkyards. It's where he discards all his failed machines and inventions. And the path to Artemis leads straight through it. I do not like it, this. Let us rest until nightfall. We will cross the junkyard at night when it's cooler. And when we will be less easily dis to distract. Detect. Nightfall comes. Maybe it was the coffee. I was drinking coffee and then that breeze came through. Maybe if I drink more coffee. Do you really think it was Pan? I mean, I know you want it to be. I don't know how or why, but he sent us help. After this quest, I'm going back to New Mexico and drinking lots of coffee. It's the best lead any satyr has had in 2,000 years. I was so close. What I'm wondering is how you destroyed that skeleton. There were five more out there, and we need to know how to fight them. I don't know. My knife is the same as Zoe's. Maybe I just hit it in the right spot. Never mind. What we should do now is plan our next move. When we get through the junkyard, we should continue west to the nearest city that could be Las Vegas, if I'm not, no way, not there. Nico and I stayed in a hotel in Vegas when we were traveling, and then I can't remember. Oh, that sounds familiar, doesn't it, guys? Remember the hotel from the last book? Or the first book? Gold. Bianca, that hotel you stayed at, was it possibly called the Lotus Hotel and Casino? Yeah, why? Oh, great. A couple of years ago, Grover, Annabeth, and I got trapped there. It's designed so you never want to leave. The Lotus makes time speed up, too. We thought we were only there for an hour, but when we went outside, five days have gone by. Bianca, who is the president of the United States right now? Um, Franklin Roosevelt. Why? Um, no, that was over 70 years ago. Do you remember anything else about before you stayed there? Maybe something about your parents? You guys are freaking me out. Let's just go. They start climbing and passing over the junkyard. There's the road. We made it. Rumble, 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 rumble. What's happening? Get clear of the mountain quickly. Rumble. Is it an avalanche? No, the mountain isn't falling down. It's standing up. Talos! Uh-oh. I wonder how our heroes are going to get out of this one. Someone has taken something from the junkyard. Who did it? Not me. Jeez, why do I always get blamed? You can argue later, guys. Take cover. Slam. So much stuff I didn't know. What are you talking about? I found this in the junk pile. It didn't, it's not like anyone wanted it. It's the only figurine Nico doesn't have. Remember Nico collects the figurines? Clatter. Ah, crunch. Yeah, zit. Pretty epic battle. Do you see that hatch? Maybe there's a way to stop this thing from the inside. If I can, no. This is all my fault. I shouldn't have taken the figurine. If anything happens to me, give it to Nico. Tell him I'm sorry. Bianca, wait. Hey, rust brains down here. Boom. No. Arg! Bianca, no! Ba boom Talk about blowing a fuse. Where's Bianca? It happened just like the oracle said. One will be lost in the land without rain. Bianca, 
is gone. All right, and that is the end of the chapter, guys. All right, so Denise and Miguel and Marcos, here are your questions for your guys' notebook, okay? I would like to know three interesting facts about this chapter. I would like you to explain what happened to Grover and what do you think will happen in the next chapter? Without reading ahead, guys, I know you. All right, so thanks again, guys. Meet me back here next week for the next chapter of Titan's Curse. And remember, we love you guys. We will see you soon, and may the force be with you. Bye.